some quick easy tips on restaurant cleaning. You're going to need a shovel and a broom to get the chunks, move the tables, but you can, once you get the chunky wet stuff out, just do a little quick pre-vacuum. Step one. Step two is going to be on a really heavily soiled greasy carpet. You're going to have to mix up a, a pre-spray. This particular one I've tried an Amelie on. Uh, it's eight months later. I'm trying Hot Knife, which is designed for grease. It's a 10 pH encapsulation formula designed for grease, and I put about uh, six ounces of, of uh, a peroxide product in about uh, two gallons of water. So I spiked it with a little peroxide. You got to apply your pre-spray and give it, you know, you can start cleaning right away. We're doing this large section, 10 minute dwell time with two machines will come right across this floor. Next step on a restaurant carpet, you can very quickly apply the in-cap using a pad like this. It's a fiber pad, works great. Having great result now for eight months. Go ahead, Jim. And at a very quick rate, apply your in-cap and agitate it in. Of course, after a couple thousand square foot, you're, you're not gonna be absorbing. You're just gonna be encapsulating the soil. This pad seems to uh, make a visible difference even after about 1,000 square foot. The pad's rated for 10,000 square foot of encapsulation, and on a heavy soil like this, you're not going to get that far, but we've been getting 1,000, 1,500 square foot one side. Next step after in capping with the fiber pad, it would be good to use some kind of absorbent pad, especially in the heavy traffic areas that have a lot of soil, uh, and that's what I've been using. These microfibers work great. They absorb a little bit more of the dirt and the grease. Last step, post back. It's only been an hour and this carpet's bone dry. So uh, if you're not going to post back every square inch, at least do some of the heavy traffic patterns. Carpet's starting to look much brighter than before on the first one. Here's the uh, dining room and carpet that was done in January, end of January, and then the end of April, and now it's the end of July. Uh, it's been in-capped January and then in-capped April. Now here's the end of July, and the pathways, they're, they're dirty compared to under where the tables were. Uh, there's a nice new spot, but the pathway's not too bad. I pre-sprayed this area here, so you might be able to see where it's a little dirtier, where it's wet. Darker there versus under the table. Carpet's been uh, cleaned. And I'll take a little video of this as it's uh, after it's dry and post vacuum. We'll see if it brightens up any. Here's an after shot. It's been a little bit over an hour and it's getting much brighter. Looking good. Okay, here's a demo to see if any soil is going up into the pad. The gray one is Revive Max, the white one is Revive. They're just fiber pads. We'll run them. Uh, the carpet has been pre sprayed with a 10 pH in cap hot knife, and then I'm going to use PadCap Pro in the machine. Uh, just to see what is coming up into that pad. Okay, so with the gray you can't really see anything. And then we'll do the white.
three foot. Let's see what we got in the pit. Mm -hmm. See the difference there. Look at the color difference. There you go. Show that one again, Joel. Yeah. A little bit of dirt starting. There's the color difference. Immediately it just absorbs. Now, it won't absorb for 10,000 square foot, but some of the dirt comes into the pit. Uh, and when I use it for a couple hours, it comes right up through the pad. You can see it the ones I've used in the past. I don't know if you can see a carpet difference here. Yes, I can yes, visibly you can. here, but you can back see here it's like whoa. You can see it from here. Uh, the only difference with the gray pad, it's a little more, uh, a little bit more aggressive, and supposedly it lasts a little bit longer than the fiber pad. But they both work great. I, I mean the, the beige pad. They both work good. of these pads after the restaurant job and it's kind of easier to see on the inside here you can see the, how much soil goes up into the fiber it starts going all the way up into the fiber this one too you can see all that dirt came up it just keeps going up 